You ever start dating someone or you are dating someone, you kind of know it's not really, at some point, it's not really going to be there. Right. Could be a is that what exploration fling. dating is? Yeah, ex- essentially, it's it's something that you know is not going to last. So in some cases, it could be very there's like low, low, there's low stakes. There's it's kind of carefree, like you don't really stress. Aren't those over the best the little- ones to start out in because you're not putting so much pressure on it, and then they could turn into something else. Yeah, and exactly. And for a lot of people, it ends up turning into something else because they thought oh, well, you're moving away to college in two months, so this is expiration dating, so we'll just get through the summer. And then maybe you hit it off so well that you do end up making long-distance work. You know, you never know, but... What's the problem? There is no problem. It's just that it's popping up more and more, and I was just wanted to talk about it because I feel like, and I didn't even know it at the time, but I had definitely a handful of relationships that I already knew from the start this is an expiration dating situation. Like maybe like I met some guy in Costa Rica once. I was there for 10 days like with my sister and a girl. So this is like way before Michael. Mm-hmm. And met him maybe like day two. He was the bartender. And that was mm-hmm. it. And we started hanging out every day, every day. And then by the time the end of the trip, I was like, I'm never going to see you again. Bye. Doesn't that happen a lot when you're single and traveling? I, remember, I mean, not, I, not with this girl. I'm yeah. the opposite of ex- expiry. I'm like paration dater. Paration? Whatever Paration. the opposite of expiration. <laughs> Just data. In Forever. perpetuity. And I want in, per- in perpetuity data. <laughs> uh, but I think, you know, sometimes you have just gotten out of something or you just are wanting to go for it or live in the moment and you don't think about the expiration date. But I do know that, like, girl, I mean, I'm going back to growing up. Growing up, you'd be dating somebody and you knew you were going to go off to school. And yeah. so it was going to have an end. But then it begs the question, is it... Better to be alone or be in something you know it's going to expire? No, the I point is... knowing something you're going to be in that's going to expire. Better. I think the smallest amount of time with somebody, even if it's meaningful, can still have such a huge impact on your life and the person that you become eventually. Meaning so. good news. Yeah, I think no, that's it'd great. No, it be bad for me. So, bad, for example, bad, bad. if we went to Rio to work at the Olympics, right? Mm, right. And we're there for 21 days. Mm-hmm. And you meet somebody there. Mm-hmm. But you know it's probably going to expire at the end then because you got to go back to your own lives for those three weeks, and then bye. No, 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 I can't do that. Oh, I could back in the day. It is hard. I did. I met this other guy in um, where is it? Ibiza. You were a real player. I really was. Like, he was I didn't know Sissy as a like, player. Like I could never. I'd come he home was and Brazilian. I'd like write all these lyrics and like notes and stuff. I'd be so sad. And he was like my boyfriend for like five days, and then that was it. Bye. <laughs> I was like single Sisney backpacking through Europe. Oh, I kind of wish I saw that chapter. <laughs> you were there. I would come in and work with you every now and then. <laughs> you did see this chapter. Right, well, I, I forgot about it. <laughs>